Hello, uh, good morning all. Welcome to the first session of the second day of the meeting. The first speaker is Professor R. Rajesh from the Institute of Mathematical Sciences, Chennai. Uh, the title of his talk is Mpemba Effect and Anomalous Relaxation Phenomena. So this is work done with Apurva, who was a student at IMSC and now a postdoc. So uh, suppose we take two samples, uh, one at a 30 degrees and one at 50 degrees of water. And then you quench, like putting into a fridge or freezer and ask which system will freeze faster. So this question was asked by, or was, uh, this experiment was done by Pemba long time ago when he was a school student. So he took water at different temperatures, put in a freezer and then measured the freezing time. And then, so, so this is the initial temperature, 80, 60, 40, 20. And this is the time taken to freeze. And you can see the higher the temperature, the shorter the time it takes to freeze. And uh, so hot water freezes faster. So that is Pemba effect. And um, it, is count, it is a counterintuitive effect because normally you would expect that higher temperatures will take longer time to cool. For water, this experiment has been reproduced in different, uh, by different groups later on. And multiple reasons have been proposed, dissolved gases, hydrogen bonding, and so on. But uh, uh, we will not talk about water anymore. So Pemba effect in a more, it, it can be placed in a more general scenario. You take two systems, one, so there is a final steady state you're interested in. And there is a steady state which I'll call hot, and the steady state which I'll call warm. This is further from the initial, further from the final state, and this is closer to the final state, whatever, whatever further and closer mean. Now you change parameters, which finally you quench from whatever was the initial condition to the final state. And you ask which system will cool faster or which system will equilibrate faster or each steady state faster. So to identify what is further, what is closer, you need some distance measure, which says if I give you a steady state or some state, how far is it from the final equilibrium or steady state? That I'll call as D. And then if I plot this distance as a function of time, if Pemba effect exists, the, the hot one, the, these trajectories should cross. Okay, so this will be the definition of Pemba effect in a more general scenario. So, um, uh, so the, the first point is that Pemba effect is not restricted to water, it is generic and it has been seen in multiple systems. I will not tell what these systems are, but you look at this, this particular kind of uh, diagram, and these diagrams are all using some distance measure. For example, here magnetization, here some excitation, in the excitation energy, and here something that I'll talk about a bit later, a, a formally defined distance measure. In all of them, you see the hot thing crossing the blue, the hot crossing the blue. Okay. So this point is just to say that Pemba effect is not water specific, it is there in multiple systems. So what's the summary? Pemba effect is generic, it is not restricted to water alone. So how does one understand? So one way, to, one way is to look at very simple systems and models and analyze them. This is what people have done. So uh, this particular paper proposed a simple model in which they could show Pemba effect and that sort of revived the interest in this problem. So what their idea was that you consider a energy landscape with multiple minima. So for example, here E1, E2, E3. With this background in mind, they defined a three-state Markov process in which there's an energy associated with one, two, and three. But there is a barrier to cross every time. So the rate of going from one to two, and two to three, and three to one, are controlled by the usual metropolis rule in addition, there's a barrier to cross. Now, uh, it, so you take this system, you fix these barriers and you fix the energies, and then you choose different temperatures and you ask, do you see anomalous relaxation here? And when they pl plot an appropriate distance measure, the high temperature system cools faster than a low temperature system in this whatever distance measure it is. So the point is that you can construct simple models and the, re and the understanding that comes out of this is that if there are multiple minima like this and you have an intermediate temperature for which this barrier is difficult to cross, 
then those intermediate temperatures find it difficult to equilibrate. So that is the reason proposed for PEMBA effect. The point that metastable states are required for PEMBA effect to occur. And this is a very pl plausible and appealing reason. And this particular uh, uh, reason has been exploited in a recent experiment. A single colloidal particle in a biharmonic potential. There is no in multi multiple interaction, nothing. It's a very simple system. And what they, sh okay, my time is running out, so I'll rush a bit. So what they could do was to look at, uh, in, so this is a single colloidal particle in an optical trap. And they can control, they can track the particle and ask where is the particle at different times, at different positions. From there, they can construct what is the probability of finding a particle at a point x at time t. With that construct, they can define a distance measure, which is the distance of the probability measure from the final distribution. And when they plot this experimental data, they see a nice crossing of trajectories showing that PEMBA effect is present even a simple colloidal single particle problem. So what I would like to ask is in this talk, what is the explanation of PEMBA effect? What has been proposed in these simple models is metastability. So I'd like to ask if metastability is a necessary condition. So what we did was to take a similar potential, a piecewise linear, a single well potential, a Brownian particle is going around here. And why this particular example? This is extremely re realizable. And if we can show PEMBA effect here, then the metastability is not a necessary condition. And uh, the method of solution is we just write the Langevin equation, Fokker-Planck equation. And because the potential is linear, we can solve the problem and compute all the quantities re relevant for calculating PEMBA effect the ground state, first excited state, and so on. So from there, so I now I show an example where I have one example I show where I've chosen a high temperature, a low temperature, use the same distance measure as in that experimental paper, and I show a crossing of trajectories for the simple problem of single particle in a single well, in a, a single well potential. So this is enough to show that metastability is not required. Then we ask, I showed one example, is the PEMPA effect generic or does it require a very fine tuning of initial parameters? So we compute, the, we in fact went ahead and computed the phase diagram. So we have this potential, there are three parameters, UL, UR, and where we put the zero, that is determined by this parameter alpha. And we show, yeah, I'll just take one more minute. And we show that if you look, it is very generic, PEMPA effect is present in a large fraction of the phase space, and therefore we don't have to do any fine tuning. So PEMBA effect, so let me summarize. PEMBA effect is a counterintuitive phenomena. Metastability has been a very appealing and plausible explanation, but metastability is not a necessary requirement. In fact, PEMBA effect is generic in a single well. Okay. And I will just stop here. Time for questions. Apin, uh, 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 Ras, yeah. They had uh, three uh, different, uh, in their what, the energy landscape, mm. they have three different mm. uh, minima. Mm. And uh, so, like, uh, how exactly you. Yeah, the details I have not given. So, they have three energy state, three minima. And they ask, they have some rates for going from one to another. Now, they equilibrate the system to one temperature and an intermediate temperature where if you take the particle in one minima, it finds it difficult to cross the barrier. While the high temperature is one, it finds it easy to cross easy the barrier. So then they show that that is one mechanism of creating PEMBA effect. I see that's the, I mean, so the higher temperature is, but eventually the minima, where they will settle? I, uh, There's a probability of all minima to be there, but there should be some transfer of probability, probability from one to time. another. That is difficult for intermediate temperature. That was the argument. And that's the argument used in the experimental paper also. Let us thank the speaker.